Hi friends, welcome to my channel Only Sat Math. Today we are simplifying an interesting numerical expression from number theory. Probably have seen this problem before done using algebraic method which is pretty long. Today I will expose you to a method which is much shorter than that. And also then I will share with you a shortcut which will take just a few seconds. So stay with me until the end of the video. By the way, if you're watching my channel for the first time, please do subscribe. So let's come to the problem. Yeah, in this expression, let's combine the first and the fourth term, 100 and 103. So the given expression, you can write like this, 100, this I am writing first, then comes 101, 102, then there is this plus 1. Now this you can easily multiply, the first two terms, which will be 103 followed by two zeros. That's what you get as product of these two. Then comes 101 and 102. Let me simplify that separately. See, 101 multiplied by 102 is 100 plus 1, 100 plus 2. Now, 100 into 100, 10,000. 100 into 2, 200. Then 100 into 1, 100. Then the last term, 1 multiplied by 2, just 2. On adding all this, you will have 1, 0, 0, 3, 0, 2. Now let me substitute this for these two. 1, 0, 0, 3, 0, 2. Then there is this plus 1. This is equal to, see these two terms differ by 2. So you can put it in a different way. The first number, 10300, zero, 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 I will write like this. 10301 zero, zero, one, minus 1. That will be this term. Put a bracket. Then this term I will write as 103. 0, 1, plus 1. Then comes the other term, which is 1. Now this equals, see, now look at these two terms. That's in the form a plus b multiplied by a minus b. See, here a minus b comes first, that's all. This, as you know, is a squared minus b squared. So in place of a, we have 10301. So you write 10301, the whole squared. Then b, instead of b, we have 1. That means minus 1 squared. Then there comes this last term, plus 1. Now look at this, minus 1 squared is just 1. Then there is plus 1. So these two will cancel out and you get what? This term alone which is 1, 0, 3, 0, 1, square. Now look at this square root and squaring. They are inverse operations as you know. So they will cancel out and you will have finally 1, 0, 3, 0, 1. This is the shortest method you might think, but there is something I can show you which is even shorter than this. Yeah, among the different methods, I would say this is the shortest. Now. Uh, there is a shortcut I can share with you. See, this is the numerical expression to be simplified. 100, 101, 102, 103, plus 1. What you do is, there are four terms in the product. You multiply the first and the last. What do you get? 1, 0, 3, 0, 0. Then just add 1 to that. That's all. 1, 0, 3, 0. One. That's the answer we have got here, which you are reading. See, this is applicable to any problem where you see square root of four consecutive integers plus one. So let me take another example and apply this shortcut. Look at this problem. See, you can choose any problem. Let me choose 50, 51, 52, 53 plus one. What did I say before? You multiply these two. See, 53 multiplied by 50. Then what did I say? Just add 1. When you multiply 
53 by 50. This is what you get 2650. Then there is 1. This is 2651. Instead of 50, you can put any number and you write four consecutive integers and do this method. You will get the answer in just a few seconds. That's all. If there is anything shorter than this, please do share with me through your comments. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like button and the bell icon so as not to miss out other videos of mine. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.